If you live in Cleveland, you know there's three things we just love. We love our pizza, we love our corned beef, and we love our bagels. Now you saw us at Bayali's Bagels in University Heights on National Bagel Day, and today we're right across the street at Geraci's. This, you've seen Geraci's on the Food Network. It's famous here in Cleveland. And so we're gonna go inside and show you how they make the pizza, kind of learn about the business, and we're bringing it all to you today on Cleveland Toss. Step on back into the oldest kitchen in Cleveland here. When we got to Geraci's, we wasted no time. I mean, everyone here is here super early, especially Bucky, getting things ready for the day. So like I said, we didn't want to waste any time. We had to get to work. So straight into the kitchen we went, and here we go. So you're here bright and early every day, getting, the thing, getting everything moving, getting everything going. I know you have to go one place and make the bread, and, and then you're delivering supplies to your other locations. And yeah, When do you sleep? Oh, oh I, I'm taking care of myself, don't worry. <laughs> We're just kind of used to it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not the best hours, but it's an exciting business. This thing's like World War II. Beast, Hobart. But this is, they built things back then to last. Where we make the bread, we got a little bit of a newer, like fancier Italian mixer. But I think we kind of like these Hobarts the best. Our dough pretty much runs on like a 12 to 24 hour schedule. We start the day out and we don't have very much dough at all, enough to get us through that like afternoon little rush. And then all of this is gonna get eaten by people tonight. Nice. So it happens pretty quickly. So listen, it's an everyday thing. It's as fresh as it gets. Yeah. There's a lot of pizza places in Cleveland right now that are really pushing the envelope, but uh, I love pizza and we'll make pizza on our days off or when we go on vacation and try these other things. But I guess what's kind of unique with Geraci's is like we just have to do what has been happening here forever. Right, forever. It's tradition. So yeah. yeah we you make just it. told me that, you, that you're making pizza on your days off. I uh, I don't get this perfect beach physique by not loving pizza, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you're working with dough, it's like a science experiment yeah. every day. We'll get this oil, a little bit of flavor, but also kind of like keeps it from sticking to the side of the bowl. Yeah. So this is where I'm just going to try not to get my hand chopped off. This is a daily occurrence for me yeah. when I'm using my stand mixer, which has nothing on my stand mixer might take off a finger. This will take off a limb. It's Sweet. like this, but, uh, yeah. you know, a tenth of the size. So I'm going to switch this off, drop it into second gear, and now we let this go for a couple of minutes. This cheese that we use here has really uh, worked out well for us over the years. I mean, we don't really change very much. Great Stanislaus, I'll give them a little plug. They're fantastic. That's where we get our olive oil from. So it's this is how it keeps country. the beach body. You see yeah. all the weight it took to yeah. cut that cheese? So I'm going to have you do this next. You just got to oh, promise me you're not going to chop your finger off. I can't promise that. If, <laughs> that's why you got pizza that's sauce. A you can't tell if it's right? I just use like the tip of the no, knife. No, no, no. You're going to open this. I saw how you did all that. Right, all right. That's, that's where I would cut my finger off. Then we get a Using little a peel. massive machete to cut yeah. a little piece of plastic. Yeah, we could chop branches down with that. Just believe in yourself, you'll start to feel yeah, kind of the really weight. Yeah, you really gotta, you gotta push down. <laughs> Stack those up, and okay. you're just gonna go uh, the other across way. that way, yep. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect, perfect. No one cuts the cheese like me, my friend. We're gonna run to the back real quick to see this dough. Coming through. Remy in the kitchen. There All is. right. See that little like look top? Look at this cone head. It didn't look like that a minute ago. What happened? No, no, just time. It did its thing. So we'll switch it off. Gently push this elevator down. And eventually it'll like rattle my arm off. I don't know why it does that, <laughs> but that's when it's down there. There's a little rattle. So we're gonna get, get it off the hook. Most of this dough off the hook. It's funny because after I cut the cheese, I like to be let off the hook. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice setup there. We want it to be like memory foam. Nice. Not like a very springy bed, more like memory foam. So if I give it that little push and it slowly is coming back, we're good. I'm gonna need your help here. All right. Told you we were being put to work. I didn't know we had all these extra people coming in, right? One, two, three. We're gonna walk it up front, coming down. I'm gonna leave here with one arm looking like Papa. <laughs> You all right back there? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Up on top of this board, like right here. So one, two, three. Cool. So. Um, oh, oh. If you want to eat pizza and stay fit, make the pizza. Yeah, that's, that's the secret. Cleveland's a big pizza place. It's almost up there with New York. We love our pizza. Why do I come to Geraci's? See, the food is good. The atmosphere, it's nostalgia. I remember from when I was a Definitely. kid. I lived up the street. It's two blocks away. That's amazing. So this is the thing. I'd walk home from Wiley. Oh, dude, right Wiley. Right past your AC. I live just 10 houses out the front window here. You know, my siblings all live close. My parents, we grew up right in this neighborhood. We feel an obligation to the community as like a pillar in, of, of these communities. Yep. Getting people, their kids, their first jobs. So before this cheese gets warm, we gotta shred it. So you said 66 years, Geraces has been around. That's 66 right. years. That's right. So my, I ate here, my parents ate here, my grandparents ate here. You have kids, you mentioned, or a kid? I, my kids have eaten here. Grandparents. Wow. Great grandparents, they would have. So hit that green, you want to give it a little bit of pressure. Okay. And hit the green button. Now do I hold it? Yeah, just kind of like push it down and sometimes this thing will pop open, so I'll hold it like that. Is that it? I think that's it, man. Keep it flowing though. All right. And the, ah! Oh, just grab it right Whoa, by this grab thing it here. From here. I don't know what I'm doing. And be careful, sometimes some cheese will fly out, hit you right in the face. When you hit it, it stays on? It'll stay on. Oh. It should stay on for you, if you got the right... Oh, oh, grab me. I broke it! Let me see. Don't Let's trust see. me with anything skilled, man. Just got a little, uh... We got a little extra stuff in here, I think. No big deal. This equipment's been around for a hundred years and I broke it. Just don't tell my brother. <laughs> there it is. There's our culprit. Alright, part two. Take two. Up, oh, plug it in. Take two, don't break the dang machine. Yeah. There we go, look at that. Real exciting stuff All here. Right. I know what I'm doing. Oh, look at that, look at that. We're gonna hit the dough. You can see it's starting, you can give it a little like feel. It's like getting oh, all oh, airy. Oh. So we like to just kind of. Oh, you want to get in there. Burp this dough a little bit. You got to see my brother do this. He can fly on doing dough. Yeah, I mean, your hands start to hurt because he's just like throwing them over there. But it's kind of, when I'm like describing it to a newbie, I think of it as like a U. So I'm taking the U and I'm turning it, I'm making another U, turning it. And then once it's kind of pinched like two or three times, just a little caress. This is the part of your hands. I kind of like okay. put the dough like on a pedestal here and I'll, I'll do that, yes. Right. Now spin now it. Turn it. Do it again. And do it again. Spin it. Do it again. Right oh, on. look at that. So you got it and then once and then it's kind of come it. together, caress it. Look at that. Look at that, man. That Just was, like my bubby taught me. That was amazing. First time. Seriously. Basically, we're just going to push down with the uh, palm of our hand, trying to keep this dough in a circular shape so that when it goes up in the air, it's going to fly nice and even. That's looking good. So from Wait, there... Did you flip it around? I have not flipped oh, it over okay. yet. I'm going to lift it up, and we do the little pinch and gotcha. pull here. Let gravity kind of work itself out. And I go from one hand to the other hand, like so. Other people just kind of like keep it like in that hand, but I think like if you played Frisbee or kind of like throwing like a basketball with a little spin on it, you just it makes wanna, that look a lot easier than it is because I know. Sling it up there. Get this thing out of here. To land on here. <laughs> A nice Chianti and some. Hello, Claddies. 
Hannibal Lecter, we'll take him at this point in time. Line your fingers up right at the edge of the dough. Okay. So, you know, I'll see like guys like doing this and that. If you just put your fingers right over the edge and you give some pressure to your fingertips, it's going to do the it work. Pretty for much you. does the work for this you. This guy works smart, not hard. Uh, exactly, exactly. I mean, you're doing so many of these over and over again. You just kind of figure out the technique that works. Get those fingertips out there. Start smushing away. Dude, that's perfect. 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 Got our sauce. Give it a little stir. Make sure we get all the good stuff. Nice, even level. Right in the middle. I want to be pretty precise. And I'm just hovering over it. And we're just going to try and get our sauce out in a nice, even fashion there. Make sure there's some right in the middle because that's everyone's first bite. We're using that cheese that you cut all over the place. <laughs> freshly, freshly cut cheese. You want to do some toppings? Sure. Go for it. I trust you. You trust I'll correct me? you. How can I help Famous you? Famous last words at your races. I trust you, Grammy. You're smiling. You're smiling. The whole world smiles with you. Oh, oh there it goes. Look inside this oven. But that, this is why this is everyone's favorite Geraces, honestly. My brother and I are here. We love it. We're dedicated. Look at that. We're making it happen. I'm going to leave you the honors for All right. first pizza at Geraces. All right. Hold the pan. Get crazy with it. There you go. Oh, look at that. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. So when you have a pizza this size, are those your slices or yep. you cut it together? Four, four slices. Look at that. I'll Look bring it out for that. you. There's um, our fake grandpa right there. A lot of people <laughs> ask me if that's my grandpa. They say, sure. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'll run with it. My grandparents are the originators, Mike and Fran Geraci. And what's cool about it is they met like at the produce terminal. My grandpa delivered produce and my grandmother worked at the West Side Market. No kidding. So he would bring the produce down there in the morning and she had to stand with her family and they met and uh, you know, I guess kind of the rest is history. In 1956, you know, they used to stay open until two in the morning. They were one of the like forward thinking restaurants in terms of takeout and, and not always having to be like a dining experience. Mm -hmm. Um, so they, they kind of did both, which I guess at that time was like one or the other. And it was a lot of the recipes that my grandmother's family brought over from Sicily. We just stick to what we've always done, and that's what's successful Everything for us. Everything broke, don't fix it. Yeah. There's very few ways that you're able to really go back in time, generally speaking. You can't just hop in a DeLorean, kick it to 88, and go into the past. But with food, like you said, these are recipes that, that came from your grandparents that they brought over from Sicily. So the meal that, that you and I might be having is exactly the meal they might have been having. So we might not be able to go back in time, but we're able to sort of share that experience through time. Definitely. Which is a really powerful thing, I think. Almost everyone has a memory of eating. It could be pizza, it could just be like a family meal with, the, with your elders, but you know, pizza is one of those popular foods as Americans. So everybody remembers like the Sunday going with their grandma to get a slice and then like maybe some ice cream afterwards. It, it invokes a lot of memories. I remember very distinctly the first time I ever had Geraces. Let me hear it. I came with my grandmother and my uncle and I was not in the mood for pizza. I wanted a burger. We came to Geraces I don't know how old I was, eight or nine. I just know I wanted the burger. So my grandmother said, this is gonna be better. And you can watch them flinging the dough. And I remember, I remember watching the dough fly in the air. Yeah. And um, when they came to take our order, I said, I want a burger. So what I ordered was a pizza with ground beef on it. Yeah. And, and that was my pizza, that was my burger pizza. That's what I called it. For a long time. Burger pizza. From so Geraces. I'd come back here every now and then. If I was on the side of town or if 
I maybe a few times after that, I'd come with my grandmother randomly uh, before she passed, and we'd come here, and I'd say, "I got to order the burger pizza." So that's my memory with her. That's the, I, I remember, the, I remember the, where we were sitting. Yeah, and that's a special time with your grandma, with your uncle. You know, I, well, we, I came here every day after school with my best friends, but I got to see my grandparents, which, you know, God bless them, they're not with us anymore. So it's like I will be closing up at nighttime, and sometimes I'm talking to them, hoping that we're making them proud, and it's a. Uh, it's more than just. You, know, you made a these pizza amazing joint. memories, having getting yeah. to getting to work with them every single day. That's the best part about it. How's your pizza? Delicious. Cool. Absolutely amazing. That's what's up. Everything I could have hoped for. All right, so you're open seven days a week. Six days a week. Six days a week. You're closed off on, on Mondays. Closed on Mondays. That's the Thanks. day of rest. Yes. Okay. What time? Uh, most of the stores eleven to nine. Okay. Now what do you know? It's it's not just the original location. There's so we got Jurassic's restaurant in University Heights where we're at the original. We got Pepper Pike, Pepper Pike on Sugar and Boulevard. We've got a nice little store in Mayfield Village. Okay. And then we opened up our first Jurassic slice shop, which is just wild and crazy pizza by the slice, sandwiches, salads. That's in downtown Willoughby. And this summer we'll be opening up downtown Cleveland, so we're really going to put our stamp on things. Yes. Uh, with another slice shop there in Love the it. Colonial Arcade. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. So everyone, check them out. Do you have a website? Jurassicsrestaurant.com. How can our you forget Instagram that? Instagram handles Jurassic's Restaurant or the Jurassic Slice Shop. You know, we're on Facebook, we update the stories, we have a lot of fun, and we'll keep doing it for many more years to come. Remember, the next time you want to know what to do, where to go, and what to see, check out the show and cleave it to us.